Understanding and Optimizing Engine Idle RPM The idle RPM, the speed at which an engine operates when the throttle is closed, plays a crucial role in overall engine performance, fuel efficiency, and long-term durability. A well-calibrated idle ensures smooth operation, minimizes unnecessary wear, and provides a stable platform for the engine's complex balance of fuel, air, and spark. In this video, we'll dive into the fundamental principles that control idle speed, explore technical methods to increase it, discuss the associated risks, and outline best practices based on over two decades of automotive engineering experience. At its core, engine idle speed is determined by the equilibrium between the engine's internal loads, such as friction, accessory drag, and pumping losses, and the torque produced by combustion. Two primary systems control this balance. Mechanical components like the throttle and idle air control valves and electronic systems governed by the engine control unit. The throttle body regulates the primary airflow, while the IAC valve, often controlled by a stepper motor, bypasses the throttle to adjust airflow at idle. Meanwhile, the ECU continuously monitors sensor inputs, including engine temperature, battery voltage, and manifold vacuum, to fine-tune fuel delivery and ignition timing, ensuring that the idle remains stable despite variations in load. Modifying the throttle linkage is one of the simplest methods to increase idle RPM. Adjusting the throttle stop can allow a higher baseline of air to bypass the closed throttle, effectively raising the engine's idle speed. This method is most effective in carbureted engines or older fuel-injected systems where mechanical adjustments are more direct. Modern vehicles rely heavily on electronic control systems. By recalibrating the ECU parameters, such as base idle speed, fuel injector pulse widths, and spark timing maps, engineers can safely increase idle RPM. This approach typically involves using diagnostic tools to read real-time data and adjust parameters incrementally until the desired idle speed is achieved while still maintaining stable air-fuel ratios and minimizing emissions. The fuel-air mixture directly influences combustion efficiency. Enriching the mixture slightly at idle can produce a higher torque output, which in turn supports a higher idle speed. However, this method requires careful tuning to avoid the risk of bore wash, excess fuel washing away the oil film in the cylinder walls, and increased emissions. Small adjustments should be made gradually, often using a wideband oxygen sensor for precise feedback. Increasing idle RPM is not without its challenges. A higher idle speed can lead to increased engine wear due to higher operating temperatures and friction losses. It may also result in higher fuel consumption and emissions if not properly managed. Additionally, modifications that alter the air-fuel balance can affect engine responsiveness and may require recalibration of other engine control systems to prevent drivability issues. Care must be taken to ensure that any adjustments do not push the engine beyond its designed mechanical limits. Based on industry standards and professional experience, the following best practices are recommended. Make small, iterative changes while monitoring engine parameters. Employ wideband oxygen sensors and real-time data logging to ensure that adjustments maintain optimal air-fuel ratios. When increasing idle RPM, consider both mechanical and electronic factors to maintain overall engine balance. Regularly revisit idle settings as other engine modifications or changes in operating conditions may necessitate further adjustments. Increasing idle RPM involves a delicate balance between performance enhancement and engine longevity. Whether through mechanical adjustments, ECU recalibration, or careful modification of the fuel-air mixture, the key lies in understanding the intricate relationship between engine load, combustion dynamics, and electronic control systems. By adhering to incremental adjustments, utilizing modern diagnostic tools, and following industry best practices, one can safely achieve a higher idle speed that supports better drivability and responsiveness without compromising engine health.